All too often, we talk about the challenging aspects of being a parent. Expensive childcare, the hurdle of paying for college, even bedtime tantrums. But that's not what parenting is actually about. We expend all this effort raising little humans because it can be one of the most gratifying, surprising, hilarious adventures of our lives. So the fabric employees who are parents took a pause to really examine why they do what they do. Yes, diapers are terrible and sleeplessness sucks. But that's not all there is. Many people dream of becoming parents. It's a desire of every human on the earth, with a little variety from one to another. And today's story is a good example of that. So let's go. When an elderly couple announced that they had a baby, everyone around was shocked. It was impossible to imagine that a 70-year-old woman could have a baby. The people around them were amazed, some suspected something was wrong in their family, and didn't understand where they got the child from. But after some time, the woman's husband decided to share the secret that helped them, and this story inspired many. Life in the countryside in Russia is very difficult. To earn enough money to live on, you need to work tirelessly. But despite the fact that the peasants do a very useful thing and, in fact, are the breadwinners of all the inhabitants of the earth and the villages, medicine and education are very poorly developed. Due to the many diseases that cannot be dealt with without the development of medicine, premature babies born in Russian villages have little chance of surviving without qualified medical care. Laura and Alvaro had to go through this. Due to the lack of experienced doctors in the village, childbirth ended badly for the woman, two babies died. The situation was complicated by the age of Laura. She was already more than 40 years old. Life turned out so that in their youth, the couple didn't think about children, and now it's no longer easy to have a baby. Each time the local doctor only excused herself, I don't have the necessary medical equipment to take a premature birth, and even for such a not young woman like you. Well, Laura's birth really began ahead of schedule. They wanted to go to a big city, but they simply didn't have enough money to put the woman into savings. And during the contractions, it was already too late to take her to the city hospital, since the road took about eight hours. The couple felt powerless because they couldn't do anything to save their newborn children. These accidents made Laura inconsolable. Every day, she remembered the death of her babies. Several years passed, having recovered from two unsuccessful births, Laura and Alvaro saved up money so that this would not happen again. Laura wanted to leave for the city in advance and lie down for preservation in order to be under the supervision of experienced doctors. But the couple couldn't get pregnant for a long time and even had to go to the city hospital and spend part of the accumulated money. The doctor's verdict shocked the couple. Doctors told them terrible news. It turned out that the couple could no longer have children as the woman was diagnosed with uterine cancer. It was a terrible blow for the family. Now the woman had to undergo serious treatment, and her chances of surviving in such an abandoned and forgotten place as their village were almost equal to zero. But Alvaro realized that he couldn't lose the only person close to him. He decided that it was time for them to leave their home and the land they'd worked so hard for and try to start all over again in another place. After selling the property, Alvaro took his wife to another region where there were more opportunities. A pleasant surprise awaited him at his new place. In the city, there were various foundations that helped women with such diseases as his wife. He began to send out requests to all organizations so that they would accept his wife. Every night after a day's hard work, he sat down and wrote numerous letters to all funds in order to save his Laura. One day, God heard his prayers, and the woman was accepted into the medical assistance program. Finally, she could get the chemotherapy she needed for free. All this was not easy for Laura, who almost lost her will to live because her main dream of becoming a mother was destroyed. But with the support of wonderful doctors and a loving husband, the woman was able to find the strength to live on. She soon became an example for other women experiencing similar problems due to her resilience and courage. She tried to always smile and helped all new patients who appeared in the clinic to cope with their fear. Laura said that fear destroys the soul and tried to support everyone, continuing to be strong and optimistic, waiting for the moment when she was discharged from the clinic. The doctors were amazed at her progress, especially the doctor who saw her on the very first day of her appearance at the clinic. Then she seemed so weak, showing no desire to live. But after many years of struggle, the woman was able to defeat cancer. After being discharged, Laura began to help women struggling with the same disease as her. She began to be invited to various events so that she could tell her story. 
Thus, the decades passed. Finally, 70-year-old spouses could live away from hospitals, although life seemed great to them, because their main dream has always been to have children. But one day, the incredible happened. Laura felt a severe pain in her lower abdomen. At first, the woman thought that the disease she'd been fighting for so many years had returned again. The couple immediately went to the hospital for a checkup with a doctor who, over the years, had already become their best friend. The doctor examined the woman, but it turned out that the cancer had not returned. The man himself, surprised but still joyful at his discovery, told the spouses the unusual news. The elderly woman was five months pregnant. Hearing this, the woman burst into tears. It was incredible in the entire history of medicine. This almost never happened. The doctor warned that the pregnancy could be difficult, but the couple were so happy that they couldn't think of anything else. God finally heard their prayers and fulfilled their lifelong dream. The couple couldn't stop crying. This wonderful news was like a ray of light. From that moment on, the woman had to spend the rest of her pregnancy under the supervision of doctors who do everything to help her fulfill the dream of her life, to become a mother and see her child grow for as long as God allows her. Fortunately, good medicine had been available to them for a long time. Since Alvaro had succeeded in his work and was able to organize his small business in the city. After four months, a child was born. Laura gave birth to a healthy, beautiful boy. This time, she didn't carry her baby for two weeks, but for the skilled workers, it wasn't a problem. But given the age of the mother and the experience of cancer, and Laura at the time was 70 years old, it was a real miracle. But even more people were shocked by what the man said later. He told everyone his secret. Alvaro said that all this happened thanks to numerous prayers to God. Although he presented them with many difficulties on the path of life in order to test their faith, he also rewarded them. For many years, Alvaro and Laura prayed that they would finally have a baby, and although with Laura's diagnosis it was impossible, they continued to believe. The couple are sure that God finally heard them and gave them a second chance. Remember, hope dies last, especially if you don't lose faith. This elderly couple now lives very happily, despite the fact that life has prepared them for hard trials. I probably shouldn't say that, but I'm just being honest. After all, we live in a society of instant gratification. So we get wearied when prayers seem to go unanswered, and our enemy fuels that weariness, feeding our flesh with thoughts of futility. It's hard to have faith when we lose hope. I know you've been there. I certainly have. Maybe you're there right now. Sometimes life can feel so chaotic and discouraging that you might wonder if things will ever feel right again. Keep God by your side and never lose hope. Bad times are really just temporary. Never give up. Never lose hope. Always have faith. It allows you to cope. Trying times will pass as they always do. Just have patience. Your dreams will come true. So put on a smile. You'll live through your pain. Know it will pass and strength you will gain. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, that it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like. Leave us your valuable comment. Share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.